It has been four days since the thunderous news from the southern plains. Texas and Oklahoma appear sec bound sooner rather than later, the Big 12 churns toward liquefaction, and the Pac-12 is open for business, we'd be foolish not to listen if schools call us, Commissioner George Klyovkov said, but seemingly without any A-level options. While jumping to the SEC makes perfect sense for Oklahoma, it would be very un-Texas for Texas. The Longhorns are better suited politically, culturally, academically and competitively for the ACC, Big Ten or Pac-12 than they are for the SEC. But in this case, money doesn't talk, it screams. Yes, the Longhorns could bask in a similar jackpot by joining the Big Ten. But that doesn't suit ESPN's master plan, and ESPN is the key player in this transformative event. Much more on that in a moment. On the surface, a lockstep move by the Sooners and Longhorns to the SEC would be good for the Pac-12. Why? Because its relative position within the Power 5 hierarchy improves. The Pac-12 was never going to catch the SEC competitively or financially, the stronger conference would simply increase its advantages and become a greater threat on the West Coast recruiting trail. But a peer league, the Big 12, would be immeasurably weakened, leaving the Pac-12 still standing as one of the Power Four. Whether the Pac-12 benefits in the long run, however, depends on what comes next. While Klyovkov is absolutely right to consider all options, the Pac-12 should not expand for the sake of expanding, because other schools need a lifeboat, because the SEC has grown to 16. Bigger is absolutely not better if the result is a devaluing of the Pac-12 brand and the formation of a fragile mishmash of universities that are scattered across half the country geographically and across multiple universes culturally and academically. The financial component is a key piece, of course. Expansion is not about increasing the size of the revenue pie. It's about increasing the size of the revenue slices for the existing members. Any newcomer would have to add value for the collective, over and above what could be generated by the 12 schools in their next media rights negotiations. That value is almost exclusively tied to one sport. Football accounts for approximately 85 cents out of every dollar paid out in media rights. None of the remaining Big 12 schools make sense for the Pac-12, in our opinion. The only viable option for the conference is a football-only alliance with some combination of schools, or conferences, that creates media value by scale. The strengthening of the SEC and kneecapping of the Big 12 is, in our view, entirely about ESPN. Specifically, it's about ESPN's master plan, as directed by the Disney overlords, to reallocate resources within a changing media landscape.